the recent gaming will most likely look to swap oh. it. Look at this. Change up for Giants. We have seen this. Especially in NA, they play a lot of corky mid lane over there where you can go for Trinity Force into Loot and Zek. Large minion wave there, and it turns out they do a lot yeah, of damage. Yeah, he might get killed on the tower now. Frederick showing up instantly. Yeah, drunk Boy, rage. Can tank this one. There's the follow-up. There's the body there slam. Go. Just needs one more tower shot, but that's gonna land. And Whirlip just over tanks the tower. For that dive to happen. Look for Whirlip to start his ulti. Set up the whole thing. Well, will Zayu go all the way around? He's waiting for it. Kumon's dropping low. He does have ultimate. Zayu comes through, gets a knock up onto Frederick, follows up with the ultimate as well onto the backside of Whirlib. Doesn't really land though. That's a ferocious bite. A lot of upfront damage will help him out in those early fights if they want to go for them. Whirlib. Here we go, lands on to Kuban. We'll follow up with the decimating smash and the knockback from Frederick as well, followed by the cask. And just like that, down goes the horse. Yeah, I think it's super cool and look for these openings in the late game. Now well, Giant openings right now with the hook coming through. There is the chain follow-up and the damage from Libic. The Tef Chard did actually come in and detonate Adri. Good little set of reasons. Our ultimate coming through from Rydal with the Soul Shackles flashes forward as well to make sure it will connect. And the follow up a perfect point blank binding. And Frederick is there to deal the damage. Zao and Libic were just a little too late to defend Selva. Have the ultimate, and here it comes. He's gonna try and get around that wall. He goes all the way past the turret, and now the teleport in from Kuban lands the charm as well. He has to take a different exit route. Take fun, doesn't have his ultimate, so he can't quite get in range. Follows the wave with Pepper Nero and flattens him right after the Valkyrie. Takes him out. He even had flash, and he didn't use it. They instantly 3v2 kills for Reason Gaming. Second dragon for them, or can it be stopped? TP and Frederick are here. Oh, maybe. I mean, Kuban doesn't have oh, his own Frederick teleport, does not get taken out. Zayu will break it, take it down. Uh, he won't bake it down. <laughs> Adri oh, going into the bot side of the fight, and uh, Zayu will be using his defensive summoner in a situation where he maybe didn't even need to. Have flash. Glass is there to counter. It is Zayu. This could get oh, he's going here. Mimic does land a hook onto the minions. There's a temple come down into the top lane as well. Whirlup comes into the fray, picks up the kill onto Rydal though, and the follow through by Kubon goes onto Adri. He's bleeding out from the ignite. He goes down before he can even complete the cutting. And now Whirlup just needs to get away. Uh, comes out with the shield, the soul furnace, and we'll get the harassment down in return. He's still going to take a little more, more damage, but he has no follow up. There is no Frederick to help him. He's a fair ways out. That was a one for two trade over to Reason Gaming. It was, yeah. Instant TP coming down oh, from Kuban. It's not over yet, though, in his bottom lane. No, he's dropping low, looking for the decimating smash. There is the flash and will be knocked away by Frederick. He's not the target they're looking for. Kuban and Zayu have the damage to eat through the Scion, though. Turns around the decimating smash again. Lands onto both players for the long stun. And Zayu drops low. There's the roar of the Slayer, and he's not going anywhere. Turns around, tries to get a Furious Bite, doesn't get it. Pepper now comes in from the mid lane. This has been such an extended fight, and that means Take will come out as well. Pepper finds two for one. Buy one, get one free. Poke so, so strong, but he needs to land it before a fight breaks out because Reason still has a lot of burst potential. It's worth it, though. Uh, here he goes, in. lands onto two, follows it with the Decimating Smash and the charge onto Zayu. He will be going down. Kuban follows through with a good ultimate onto the back line. Adri drops low. He gets Buster shot of the way and blown up by Celeber. Take one also drops low, but Kuban is ripping apart the back line. This is a fantastic fight for Reason Gaming. Hooks him in. He's not going anywhere. Watch out for the passive, though, because San is back and he's angry, looking for the auto attacks on to take fun. One more, and it doesn't quite land it. Meanwhile, Selva has been caught out by Pepper Nero, gets knocked back by the Dragon Spawn, and turns around with the damage. He takes the damage from Dragon as well. Not quite enough with the explosion from Explosive Charge. Around for a little longer. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, though, it's all action all day. Pepper Nero gets taken down, follow up onto Rydal as well, takes him out with the Spirit Rush. Meanwhile, Werner from the top lane locks him down, get the shutdown. That's the double kill, but also the shutdown on to take fun. Libic is not landing the hooks today on the uh, stage objects, but uh, that will mean he'll have to flash away over the wall, loses that summon that Adri with the culling, comes in with the onslaught of the shadows, jumps over the wall of the rampage, and Ludlivic comes back into the fight, anchors to the face, takes him out, and Frederick will be trying to escape from this one, uh, will it maybe having enough damage to take out Zayu, flash forward, axe to the back of the Rek'Sai's head, takes him out, three for two, this is so, so messy to this year, I'll take fun, it's always set up as the AD carry, take fun, so speaking about him, just get locked down by the decimating smash right on the corner, and also the binding as well. Willow will be following up the damage, but now we're just gonna have fight central again. Kubon now teleports into the fight, looking for that devastating charge. Doesn't quite get out to anyone just yet. Willow's dropping low, he comes off the shield. Pepper Nero though is trying to get the harass down. Doesn't land those rockets. And after all that, no one dies. Giants 
Werleb and Frederick are next to no HP and they go back to base. For a second tower in the middle, Tristana is so fast at taking down towers. Giants have to do something and they're engaging. Well, they try for the engage. Kuban will be ulting away from the fight. Still, they're losing their mid turret to Fischio. They are. Like, this is a Tristana on her own. Just took four. And he ended in the mid time. He got the inhibitor down. He's going back to try and stop this one. Kuban has Drop been called out. We will be jumping into the fight. Doesn't have his ultimate. Finally gets slain by Adri in the back of the fight. Depth charge lands onto that big tanky Gragas. The hook does Baron not come through. Down. The dredge line doesn't find its mark. Is that you? Televa comes in with the auto attacks over the Ooh. wall. Doesn't quite get it. Again, another objective goes over to Pep and Hero of all people. Televa does get slowed down by Werleb. It's damage control now for recent gaming. Oh, the binding from Rydal. That's a dead Televa. But still, he did his job. He took the inhib. And even though they lost three members, that was pretty damn good from the AD Garrett. Yeah, Giants are extremely split right now. They have found Werleb. He's by himself completely, but he's actually fairly tanky. Kubon following up with the devastating charge. The tower is still there, but it basically scratches the front line at this stage. Well, still have a away. coming in here. I'm not sure why he was trying to clear out the minion line, but the tower will be going down. They're trying to keep him in place, but he's just so tanky. They don't have the damage there just yet. Finally, Celebra alive, but Ryder was there, and uh, Pepper Nero is in hot pursuit. Back, he comes in with the the E, Libic as well, comes in with the depth charge, goes onto the back lines, only really gets onto Rydal, immediately gets exhausted, he'll be going down before the fight even really starts, Cunning comes across onto Zelleva, sends him away, the Rek'Sai dies as well, Libic tries to get through the base gate, but also gets slain uh, before he gets through it, Frederick now trying to get onto Ooh. take fun, the rocket goes wide, doesn't quite land, but neither does the charm, Frederick just needs to zone him away, top turret doesn't even go down, they could just end the game here, yeah. and now uh, the run and down they go for the first Nexus turret, there goes the second, and they just don't have enough to stop them, and Celebrant and Tapefoot just have to watch that as the Nexus turns into rubble. Giants take the second game in this best of five.